first official contest in this year's presidential election cycle kicks off on Monday. Yes, we're talking about the Iowa caucuses, the unique event that can be difficult to explain, even for people who have attended it before. Our Uba Lee is digging deeper into how the process works, joins us live in our studio with kind of a breakdown here, Uba. Yes, trying to break it down, Tom and Caitlin, many Iowans enjoy being the center of the political world every four years. They also enjoy the process that's unlike your standard presidential primary. When you go to vote, you just go in, make your vote. This is a mo little bit more engaging uh, for everyone to go ahead and attend. Engaging and unique, the Iowa caucus process, at least on the Democratic side, can be difficult to understand, and this year the process is a bit different. For instance, the addition of the presidential preference card. That goes ahead and gives written documentation of how each of the eight caucus attendees um, designated that uh, the person that they wanted to support. Now once registration is complete, folks gather with other caucus goers who support their preferred candidate. Once that's settled, the count is taken for what's known as the first alignment. Candidates without that 15% of attendee support in the room are considered non-viable and attendees supporting non-viable candidates are then released to consider other candidates. However, once you are in a group that's viable, you cannot move. That's new this year, as is a reduction in preference rounds. There will be only two also of note. If undecideds are viable, they are locked. Once the voters who can move to the other candidates do so, that's considered the final alignment, and that count will dictate how delegates are awarded. It's locations like this one that will be jam-packed Monday as caucus goers fight to gain delegates for their candidates. We go ahead and, like I said, divide up into preference preference groups, um, as opposed to the Republicans do more of a straw poll. Things are a lot simpler for the Republican Party, but the Republican Party doesn't have ballots per se with everyone's names on them. Republican caucus goers will have to write the name of their preferred candidate on a piece of paper. You know, the Republican Party knows that we have a great president, President Trump. And because they have a sitting president, turnout is expected to be lower than in 2016. But that could also change in the future with an update to the Republican caucus process. I see in the future maybe that we give um, an opportunity for more people to caucus uh, rather than just during one hour on a cold winter night. The first steps on the long road to election night in November. We're wanting to go ahead and get the White House back. I think he is um, can take anybody head on in the Democrat Party. Doors open for the caucuses Monday night at 7 o'clock. We'll have live reports from across Iowa that night and the results as they happen. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Uba Ali, KTTC News.